Hi, Tony Poulos here at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Today I'm with Paul Cormier, who is the President of Products and Technology at Red Hat. Paul, welcome. Thank you. Look, Red Hat's very popular at the moment. Everyone seems to be looking at Red Hat for advice on how to consume the cloud or cloud products. Where does Red Hat fit in the hybrid cloud scene? Well, I mean, it's a pretty interesting position because, I mean, cloud in general, cloud technologies, they're all built on Linux. You know, and as you know, we're the commercial leaders in Linux. And what we're seeing our customers is they really want to consume cloud as part of their IT environment. In some cases, they want to even run private clouds. And in other cases, they have applications on bare metal, on bare servers. They have virtual machines running on VMware and us along with their private clouds, public clouds, all part of their infrastructure now. And so that's where we come in because with Red Hat Enterprise Linux and our OpenShift platform, which is built on Red Hat Enterprise Linux, we can actually give our customers a, a, a consistent environment across all of those footprints, all the way out into the public cloud. And now we're even starting to see customers that want to go to multiple public clouds. So giving that consistent environment all the way across internal footprints and multiple external cloud footprints is where we can help our customers. Well, let's go back to the open source projects that you are famous for, particularly with the uh, Enterprise Linux. Uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux is famous and everyone's been using it for so long. But how does this help drive the creation of new solutions in that service provider uh, arena? Because, you know, what really happened, you know, maybe 12 or 15 years ago when we first started with Red Hat Enterprise Linux, we were really a commodity play. And Linux was really about, you know, almost as good but less expensive. And when hardware became a commodity and we really drove Linux as a commodity, now the world had a very powerful open source operating system that was freely available. And we quickly became beyond, we went beyond even the traditional operating systems and functionality. So with, with that operating system in the hands of so many developers, we really moved from a commodity play to an innovation play. All the innovation in the last 10 years in the infrastructure and app development's been around Linux. And that's, that's where we play in driving that. Well, as the nature uh, and consumption of corporate IT and network infrastructure evolves, particularly in this latest wave of disruption, what changes are you seeing uh, in how customers are developing and managing those apps that you're talking about? Well, we're seeing the customers taking advantage of all that innovation that's happening in the open source community around Linux. And once again, because it's open, the developers that work for our customers now are seeing that technology as it's developed. So developers are getting exposed to, and in many cases, using new technologies before it's even available in products. And so this innovation on top of innovation on top of innovation it's just driving this whole world so quickly. And that's how both enterprises and network providers are now starting to take advantage of it because they now have the ability to move innovation at a pace that they've never been able to do before. And can you comment on Red Hat's partner ecosystem? I know you're working with a lot of them. How is that working? How are you getting to work together with so many partners to create new solutions basically for communication service providers? Because, you know, as I said, all this, all this new technology is getting into our, our partners' solutions. A lot, of, a lot of partners use us as the conduit to the upstream community. Because it's so much in our DNA to develop in an open environment upstream, our partners can now work with us to help us bring our products forward more quickly by actually funneling a lot of requirements through us so we can work them in the upstream community. So it really is, you know, our partners taking advantage of everything we do from development upstream all the way down to what we do in our products. Pretty soon we'll have everyone wearing red hats, Paul. Uh, we hope so. Thank you very much. Thank you.